back to 3 Hours New Show and now we are on our secret segment, City Stories. And right now I'm dressing up neatly because it's part of being an adult and because we are going to talk with one of the influencer or a content creator from America who talks about the fatherhood and also to become an adult because he has a lot of ignorant kids. Well, let's go talk with him. Hey kids, so today I want to give you just a couple tips about wearing a suit because you probably have to do that at some point in your life. You only button the top button, okay? You don't button the two buttons. There's usually two buttons on a, on a sport jacket. And then as far as a cuff showing, you want to have about, have about a half inch showing like that, right? Inch. You don't want no, no cuff showing. You don't want a lot of cuff showing, just about a half an inch. So now we are already connected with Mr. Rob Kenny with his Instagram account that how do I which the content is for the kids especially for the kids who grew up without a dad so let's talk more about it with himself who already joined us here in our uh, zoom so for today's interview so how are you Mr. Rob Kenny I'm good. Yeah. Th thanks for having me on. My my channel really is for anybody that could use help, whether they had a father or not, or maybe, you know, th there's so many different, so many situations all across the world, as you, as you know, uh, my channel isn't just for people in America, but it's for, uh, you know, it's um, pretty popular in Brazil, as well as Indonesia. <laughs> so I was just uh, on a um, interview in Bulgaria and in Montenegro so it's it's all over the world all right mr. Rob so what inspires you in making this content so my dad left uh, when he was 14 and so when I started thinking of the channel I was just trying to pass along some information that I uh, learned over the years because uh, my wife and I, um, my wife and I have been married for 32 years. We have two adult children. My daughter's 31 and our son is uh, 28. And so I thought I've got a lot of information that I think I could share to maybe uh, help help some other people. And I, I thought I was just going to help 30 or 40 people. And here we are today. <laughs> And since when do you make this content and what kind of content are you making? Yeah, I started it uh, during the pandemic. I, I thought of the idea several years before because again, I was just gonna thinking I was gonna pass along some information. And then during the pandemic, I was uh, stuck at home like everybody else, you know? And so my daughter really encouraged me to, to get started and do it. And I, I didn't have any excuses because I was at home. I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> and so I. I loaded, uh, uploaded uh, how to tie a tie and how to shave and kind of went from there. And now I'm grateful. I have Wisdom Wednesdays too that I do and I do uh, Money Mondays. I, I think as a dad, I can talk about so many different things. And so I'm grateful for that because there's more to being a dad than just showing you how to tie a tie. You know, I'm, I think it's important to to be able to pass along the wisdom you've learned as well. So it's inspiring and touching story that you have shared with your followers and viewers is there any a memorable feedback or moments with your followers uh, and viewers especially from the kids that grew up without that early on one of the first comments i heard that helped me understand that my channel was a little bit different um people were saying that they were watching me tie a tie and crying uh, I didn't realize it was going to resonate on that level, but I think it's because um, as a dad, I was kind of sharing my heart with my kids, right? I, I um, and so th those are touching when when it's uh, when it's resonating on a level more than just showing you how to do something. I'm hopefully also showing you a pattern for when you get the opportunity to be a dad to be loving towards your kids because I, you know, it's easy to kind of lose your temper or get frustrated or whatever. So I'm hoping to uh, help the next generation kind of model what it, what it should be like uh, when you're interacting with your own kids. As someone who grew up without a father figure or a dad, so what was the hardest part for you in experiencing life? 
Boy, it's hard to say just one thing. <laughs> I think we all have hard things uh, in our lives, but and I, I, in fairness, you know, my dad was there when I was young and then um, our family kind of, and I share a lot of it in my book. Uh, it, our family, unfortunately, just came to a tough situation and my dad chose to leave. And so I don't want to, you know, paint my dad out to be this horrible person because he did start out well. He just made a bad choice along the way. And unfortunately, I um, it had ramifications, right, that I, I had to live with. And so I think, you know, being frustrated, not being able to have somebody kind of guide you and walk along and show you how to handle money, how to handle buying a house, how to buy, how to fix your car, all those little things that you got to just kind of figure out. It's pretty frustrating if you don't have somebody that you can go to. So in your videos, you give an advice for uh, life skills, life hacks, life, uh, tips and tricks, like such as making how to make a tie and how to be neat. So how do you choose the topics that you cover and what sort of impacts that you hope um, from your viewers and also your followers? I think there's just so many different things to be able to talk about. I don't think I'll run out of ideas for content um, because wisdom, you know, there's a lot of different things you go through and I can repackage them too. the wisdom because it, you know, there's a lot, some of them can be similar and you can bring out a little bit each, uh, each time. And I, you know, I think I've kind of covered what I'm hoping to do is to be able to get again, to inspire people. I want to encourage people and empower people because you know, if you've never fixed the toilet before or fixed something and then you do it, you kind of feel like, oh, that maybe that wasn't so hard. And then you can do something else and you can do something else. I think if you if you break things down into baby steps, it can help you solve a problem and then you can build confidence. So then you can uh, solve other problems. So until now, which video has the most uh, viewers? and most feedbacks yeah i think the top one is how to shave how to shave your face uh and really if you watch that video <laughs> it was pretty you know i was an amateur at the time i didn't i'm not that my videos are very professionally done now but i'm better because i it was only my second video and i even have my prescription bottle in the background so i pay attention more to the background now than uh, than i did then but that one's high up there um how to tie a tie is very high up there and then um uh a thank you video that i did just to thank the people the my internet kids for um helping me go viral and then i'm proud of you is another one that has a lot of views so what are the challenge that you face when you make this content i think there's lots of challenges just trying to figure out and uh, but I, I I haven't really been nervous doing my video, so that feels good because it is just me and my phone. I'm still recording it on my on my phone, um, and I do try to talk to my internet kids like I would talk to my own kids, and so I've been able to do okay with that. I think paying attention to what's in the background, <laughs> and then editing too. Editing it just takes time. And you, for someone who grew up without a dad, maybe you could give. Um advice to a person or a people that also grew up without a dad? I think a big thing is uh, learning to be able to forgive because uh, it took me a long time to uh, forgive my dad. Um, and then once once I did finally forgive him, I, I'm embarrassed to admit how long it took me. You know, it was into my 40s. Um, he left when I was 14. I probably held that against him for probably 30 years. And that was energy being spent on that rather than sp spending energy on moving forward in my life and, and being able to do good things in my life. Instead, I was always, there was a constant energy being spent on unforgiveness. And so I think, I think we tend to have a different perspective on forgiveness, thinking that somehow you're letting that other person off the hook when really it sets you free to then go go live your best life because you don't want to keep dragging that into the future. You know, I get I understand that forgiveness is hard. I, I do understand because obviously it took me 30 years. So uh, but 
um, but I think it's what we need to do. So as you mentioned, you are a dad of two children. So what are advices for them uh, in order to guide their kids to become independent, especially um, for in just in case that one or both parents already uh, are passed away. So what are the preparation for them? Yeah, I think that's uh, there's a there's a lot of advice. <laughs> I don't know how much time we have, but I I would say a big thing is giving your kids responsibility. And I think that's one of the things that my wife and I did as our kids were growing up. We'd give, we'd give them some responsibility and see how they handled it and kind of monitor that. And if they handled it well, then you give them more responsibility. And so you kind of put it on them that they, how they handle it is how they get more responsibility. If they don't handle it well, then okay, it's your choice. You're making, and there's consequences for how you handle things. And so I think that was a big thing was allowing your kids to fail, allowing your kids to do stuff and, you know, and so kind of just monitoring that and then you give them more and more and more responsibility and that prepares them for, because that's real life, you've got responsibilities and you've got to pay your bills and you've got to work and you've got to do all these different things and I think that's preparing them for adulthood. So in the future, what are plans or blueprints for you in making this content? Yeah, I uh, I still want to keep doing what what I'm doing because I still think there's lots of things I can I can help with. But I also we're going to incorporate travel more. Uh, like yeah, I don't know if you saw, but we went to Istanbul. I still have a again again speaking of editing, we went to Istanbul and to uh, Cappadocia. And I have two videos. I've got all the content. I just don't haven't edited them <laughs> yet. So. I uh, and so and we're going to be going to Greece uh, in uh, April because I'd like to show plus I'd like to meet people you know it's it's fun to get out and actually get to meet people that um, maybe I've helped uh, too so I'm trying to figure out what that looks like a, a way to actually meet uh, some of my followers because I think that would be and I meet people around where I live people stop me and introduce themselves and I like that but it'd also be fun to do that you know across the world yes Mr. Rob maybe you can go here to Indonesia next time to our studio so we can have actually um, life skills uh, teaching face to face here in the studio <laughs> I'd love it. I'd, I'd love to try to work that out if I can, you know, uh, I'm hopefully. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay, thanks for having me on, Resky. All right, so that was uh, Mr. Rob uh, Kenny, um, a guy who makes the content for the life skills, especially for the children to become adult. And it was very emotional and very touching and very inspiring. Resky Anasto and Oswald Nangolan for C Today.